Today we're going to be reviewing exponent properties. This is lesson 1.4. First we're going to talk about zero and negative exponents. Zero exponent and negative exponent. So here we go. The zero exponent. Um, anything to the zero power is one except zero to the zero power is undefined. I'm going to highlight that property right here. Anything to the zero power is one except zero to the zero power. So for example, right here, four to the zero power is one. Then for negative exponents, um, if we have um, an integer, it can be positive, it can be negative, it can be zero, and we have a non-zero number a, a to the negative n is reciprocal of a to the n. What does that mean? It means, for instance, that 4 to the negative 2 is 1 over 4 squared. All right? a to the negative n is 1 over a to the n, and 1 over a to the negative n is a to the n. They're reciprocals of each other. a to the negative n and a to the n are reciprocals. Um, you might remember the reciprocal of 4 is 1 fourth. What that means is when we multiply them together, they create 1. So a to the negative n and a to the n are reciprocals. When we multiply them, they create 1. Now we're going to do some examples. We're going to look at example one. We're going to talk about using the zero exponent and using negative exponents. So two examples. Part A, 6.7 to the zero power. That's one because anything to the zero power is one except zero to the zero power. For part B, negative two to the negative four, that is going to be one over negative 2 to the 4th power, which is, if we simplify that, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is 1 16th, right? Negative 2 to the 4th power, remember that means negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That creates a 4. That creates a 4. We've got 16. So for B, it's 1 16th. Now for example 2, simplifying an expression. So we're going to simplify 4 x to the 0 power over y to the negative 3. Quickest way to do that, x to the 0 power is 1, so we have 4 times 1. I'm going to leave that y to the negative 3 for just a minute. We've got 4 over y to the negative 3. But the y to the negative 3 is the reciprocal of y to the third, so we can bring that up, make it 4y to the third. You can move expressions that have negative exponents from numerator to denominator if you change the sign on the exponent. This is a negative 3. Move him to the numerator, he becomes positive 3. Where'd my denominator go? There's nothing in it other than 1, which we don't write. 